Hey everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope that wherever you are on the planet today, you are having a beautiful day. I wanna say heads up, I've got a rogue neighbor just riding around this neighborhood on some riding mower, all crazy, making a lot of noise. So if you hear a mower or you hear some weird sound, that's what it is and I apologize in advance. I wanted to talk to you today about your soul's blueprint. And it's funny how I came to this video because I was notified by a friend with whom I'm working that I use this term a lot and just presume that people know what the hell I'm talking about. I say, well, but your blueprint X and well, the soul's blueprint Y. And he said, wait a minute, what's a blueprint? I don't have a blueprint on me. And he didn't understand. This is often called the curse of knowledge for those of us who have been out in these spiritual streets for quite some time, learning stuff, reading books, getting information, trying things, up leveling. We often forget that the people who are just starting out or who don't know as much have no idea what we're talking about half the time. I could be talking to you about chakras and stuff and we could be having a conversation, but somebody at the table to the left of us would have no idea what we're talking about. So we do have to take the time to explain, which is what this video is about. I want to explain to you what I mean when I say blueprint, because it's important. Your blueprint is your soul's document, really. It's a living, breathing, energetic document that resides within you. And in the document is contained the entire map of your life, what you're supposed to experience, what you're supposed to achieve, how you're supposed to su succeed, and also how you're supposed to fail. The people that you're gonna meet when you're walking down the street, they're the people that you meet each day. Those people are in your blueprint. Your jobs, your occupations, your health, your wellness, your sickness, your joys, your loves, your pains, your trauma, and even your abuse, that's all written in the blueprint of your life. A blueprint pertains to an incarnation. This is not the soul or the I am's blueprint. This is the blueprint that the soul helps the individual, the person coming into the incarnation to draw up intentionally before the person actually incarnates. And typically when the blueprint of the life is being drawn up and considered and we're setting intentions as a soul, we're doing so with wise counsel. In specific, we're doing so in the presence of what's called our soul group. A soul group is a group of souls or personalities with whom we tend to incarnate into lives. Like life after life after life, we're always incarnating with the same group of people. Now, the soul group can vary. In the soul group, you have your ride or die souls, those people that you are always incarnating with. For example, my husband, Jeremy, he's a ride or die soul. In every life, we're together, we're switching up roles. In this one, he's my husband. Maybe in the last one, he was my father. Maybe in the future one, he'll be my mentor. I don't know, we switch up roles, but we're always in our lives because as souls, we, are in, we have a shared community and we are in connection to one another, and so we serve one another in this way. We incarnate in order to teach each other various lessons and help each other to evolve and to grow. And then you have other members of your soul group who maybe you incarnate with every three lives, every five lives. They're important to you, but not as important as your inner sanctum or as your ride or die people. And these are also people who can show up in your life and not play an especially large role, but when you meet them, you feel there's something about them, like you just recognize them on a soul level, like, oh, I know, I know you. I get this real sense of familiarity about you. Well, it's likely because they're in your soul group. So I explain all this in order to show you that these are the people who populate your wise counsel, in addition to your emissaries. Emissaries are your angels and your spirit guides and your friends in spirit who love you and love your soul. And so we gather round, if you will, before we incarnate and we work on the document. And Jeremy as a soul pre-incarnation says, okay, well you and I, we should meet and we should fall in love and we should be together and we should build this business and we should have these experiences. And then I meet with another soul and we agree to have different experiences and I draw up contracts with various people from my soul group. And I also 
listen to my emissaries and wise counsel about the things my soul might need to experience in a life so as to evolve. And then when all of that information is gathered and the soul is ready, well, the soul sets an intention and it lays that intention out in the form of this living, breathing document, this logos, this word, the word of our life. This is the blueprint. It is energetic. It exists within you and there's a path that is detailed in your blueprint and this is your primary path, the path that's always calling you, the path of your purpose. Now, even though we spent a lot of time drawing up this blueprint, we had a lot of collaboration, we had made a lot of plans, we also knew that once we incarnated, we would have what's called free will. And so even though there are some karmic or some predestined things built into the blueprint, we knew that we could jumble the whole thing if we wanted to because 3D reality is a reality of free will. And you see people do that all the time, by the way. You see people with incredible talents and abilities and skills who obviously came here to do something super important, completely throw it all away for some reason or another, for example, my father threw it all away by becoming a drunk and by becoming an addict and an abusive personality. So I believe with my father, he had a primary path. He had a high calling on his life, yet in the incarnation and in this 3D sticky reality, he got detoured. He went wandering in the desert for 40 years plus and ended up checking out before he ever made his way back to his path. However, I believe, and I will say to you, those that deviate and detour, there's always an echo. There's always a magnetic pull back to the path. It's happened with me when I've gone off the reservation, if you will, if I've, I've gone and made a choice for myself that doesn't really edify my soul or my path, I know it. My body's always telling me, wait a minute, are you sure? There's always a tension in me, in the body, also in the energy. And then I have my emissaries. My emissaries are activated and mobilized in order to keep me on my path because see, they were there when I drew up the blueprint. So my emissaries are always guiding me back to the right circumstances, to the right possibilities, to the right potentials, and to the right people because they know what is in the blueprint. Think of life as an adventure. And imagine if you were a hiker, for example, and you were going on an adventure, maybe you were gonna hike the Appalachian Trail. Would you send yourself into that adventure with no backpack, with no provisions, with no tent, with no sleeping bag, with no water? Well, of course not. Before you head into an adventure, you prepare yourself and you pack for yourself everything that you need. So I want you to know that even if you feel like I'm really not aligned to my blueprint, I really don't know what I am doing, you have a blueprint, you have a path, you have a purpose, but you also have your pack. You also have your toolbox. You also have your compass and your canteen. You have everything you need to fulfill your purpose. Now, those tools, those resources might not be activated right now, but you have them. And the more you align to your blueprint, the more you align to your path, the more they begin to light up and the more they become apparent so that you can use them to further yourself in this experience. The blueprint, which is the living word of your plan for your life, exists within you. Christ said the kingdom of heaven is within you. Access to all that stuff exists within you. You can go to an intuitive and you can say, what's my purpose? What's my path? Am I supposed to be with this person? Should I take that job? And a good intuitive will be able to pick up on your blueprint and hopefully give you some information that will allow you to make the right choices. But the best person to answer that question is always gonna be you because it exists within you. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. What does that mean? Many things, many layers, but for this teaching, in the beginning was the Word, it's the blueprint. It's what we came here to do. And the Word was with God, your God, you, the God that you are. And Jesus said, you are all gods. 
and the Word was God. The life is an expression of higher self I am. In the beginning was the Word. It exists with you. The Word is you and you have full access to it. The reason this is important is that you should know you came here to do something very important and that you made plans for yourself and you packed a bag for yourself that would provide you everything you need. You're not alone. You're not without resources and skills and you're not without friends in spirit and in this world vis-a-vis -vis your soul group. You have all that you need and if you feel lost, if you feel disconnected from it, focus on your vibration. Always focus on your spiritual connection. Seek the kingdom of heaven first and all these things are added unto you. Pay attention to getting back into divine alignment with source energy and truly with the I am of who you are through high vibration, through love, through joy and through moving and being in that love and joy. And all of these things are made available to you. All of these things are added to you, but they're in you. It's always been in you. You're here for a reason and you are blessed and highly favored. You have all that you need.